Welcome back to Loyal TV. In this episode, we visit a handcrafted home nestled in secluded woods outside of Norman, Oklahoma. This home was a treasured retreat for a man who made a name for himself by less than lawful means. This is the story of Murray Humphreys. It's the 1920s. A traveling salesman by the name of Lou Harris arrives in Little Axe, Oklahoma. His brother runs a local electronics store. And soon, Lou is traveling across the countryside carrying a box and horn. His sales spiel is compelling. Lou promises to bring the famous tenor, Enrico Caruso, into your home using a Victor Victrola. The Victor Talking Machine, as it is also known, claims to reproduce the sounds of this Italian opera singer at hitherto unheard of fidelity. Lou assures his customers that the experience is the next best thing to seeing Caruso live on stage. In a serendipitous string of events, his music machine brings him to the home of a young music student at the University of Oklahoma. Mary Clementine Brendel, or Clemmy as he called her, was uniquely refined and unlike anyone he had ever met. On May 9, 1921, they become husband and wife. Lou wants to go back to his hometown of Chicago and show off his new bride to friends and family. But not everyone in this so-called family is blood-related. They're made up of a tight-knit group of, shall we say, entrepreneurs who operated out of Chicago. Lou Harris is actually the alias used by Murray the Hump Humphreys. Murray is known as the right-hand man to the infamous Al Capone. Allegedly, it is Murray who masterminds the concept of using laundromats to launder money and is also responsible for terrifying the nation with the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, a gangland shootout that leaves seven dead. In 1929, the FBI arrest Al Capone and set their sights on dismantling organized crime. Murray becomes public enemy number one. With pockets full of cash, he begins buying lots between Little Axe and Norman, Oklahoma, far from the streets of Chicago. He builds a luxurious cabin, and according to legend, it has an Olympic-sized pool lined with silver dollars, all hidden in 11 and a half acres of woods and surrounded by cyclone fencing. There is even a steel gate with a lookout tower that is manned by armed guards 24 hours a day. His generosity is so renowned that just the very sight of Humphreys in town lights up the community of Little Axe. Little do they know where all that money is actually coming from. Murray the Hump Humphreys begins to spread his influence across the nation, taking over unions in Hollywood and befriending politicians. On September 21, 1934, precious Luella Humphreys, the daughter and only child of Murray and Clemmy, is born. As Luella matures, her father gives her anything she desires even organizing a date with Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra himself, to her high school prom. While it may never be known just who walked these tranquil grounds, President Truman once said of Humphreys, as far as hoods go, Humphreys is a cultivated man. The hump used these grounds to show off his grandeur to international elite. He cultivated a life of crime, but he was captured by the beauty of Oklahoma and chose this land to be his final resting place. Sheltered underneath a canopy sits the family crypt where Murray rests next to Clemmy and Luella in their favorite part of the world. Join us next week for more of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.